Hello. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. On this training, I'm going to show you how you can configure your process within Process Builder to automatically update specific fields within your Salesforce contact records. Hopefully at this point, you've already watched the video where we configured this process to update the last call date. So if we go back here, the last call date within the contact record every time we make a call using PhoneBurner. Now in this particular training, I'm gonna show you how we can set the next call date when we call somebody and it goes to voicemail. So we're gonna go back to Process Builder and we're gonna add a new criteria. We're gonna name this criteria voicemail. And the reason why we're gonna name this criteria voicemail, because this specific set of criteria is gonna house all of the actions that we perform anytime we leave a voicemail using phone burner. We're gonna leave it set to conditions are met, and for set conditions, we're gonna be monitoring the subject line again. So we select subject, hit choose. Operator contains this time. This time I'm just looking for something that contains whatever my value is. And what the value is that we're monitoring is the voicemail value. So let's go into phone burner. Let's go take a look. Here's our voicemail button. So this is the call status. This is what's going to become part of the subject line. I'm going to copy that. But just to confirm that, let's go back over to Salesforce and look at this activity. So you'll see the subject line is called with phone burner dash left message. And so that's the part of the subject line that we're really going to be keying this stuff off of. So it's really important as you're configuring your phone burner account to pay attention to the statuses that you're assigning to each of your dispositions, each of those buttons. So we're going to go back to process builder and for our value here, we're going to paste in left message. So we're looking for any new task activity that has a subject line that contains left message. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Once we save that, we need to add our immediate action. So I'm gonna click on add action. Action type, we're gonna update a record. And in this particular case, we're gonna set our next call date. And for record type, we're gonna choose a record related to the task. And we're choosing the contact record related to the task. And we're going to go ahead and hit choose. And now we need to select the field that we want to update. That's going to be our next call date. And for this one, we're going to choose formula as well. And we're going to build a formula. Now our formula could be as simple as something like today plus three, which would take today's date and then add three more days. And then that would become the new follow-up date, right? That would be the next call date. Or we could take advantage of a more complex formula that takes into account weekends. And I believe this is it. I've done a little bit of testing on this. If you find something's wrong on this, please let me know so I can make sure I update it. So once you've entered that formula, go ahead and hit the use this formula button. That'll add it to the value field and you can go ahead and save it. And there we go. We now have a new criteria in our process that will run anytime we have a phone burner activity that includes a subject line left message. However, before we wrap up, there is one problem, and some of you may have already noticed this, but there's one problem that we're gonna run into if we leave this as is. So let's start at the top here. We do a call with phone burner, an activity is created, Process Builder then starts to look at that activity and sees that it has a subject line that says call with phone burner. And so it moves down this path. It does not continue. It moves down this path. It sets the last call date and then stops. If we were to leave everything as is right now, that would be the only thing that gets done. We need to make sure that Process Builder continues to consider or evaluate that activity after this first one. So we're gonna change this from stop to evaluate the next criteria and we'll save it. Now that's something you don't necessarily need to do with every criteria, but we definitely need to do that for that first criteria because we need to make sure that we're evaluating everything else. Anyway, that's it for this specific training. You now know how to set a next call date 
based off of the call outcome from phone burner. And of course, that's not it. There's more training, but that's it for this one. Thanks again and happy dialing.